<clears throat> Friends, well, it's me, Curtis Robinson, with my good buddy Enigma. And uh, Brother Enigma here is a prophet with a spear, so he's a little bit different class than I typically play. But um, we are having some fun. I am here at the Church of America. Third church, rather. So this is an important place. We want to get these items. The Flask of Wondrous Physic is an extra potion. In this case, I'm getting the Crimson Tear and a, the Flask itself. And ultimately, we can put those in there. But this is another thing we really want to get at every possible chance. We want the Sacred Tear. It makes our potions work better. That's our FP Blue Carillion potions as well as the crimson red potions which heal us. So those are pretty stinking important. Go to flasks. Increase the amount replenished. Yes, do that. I'm not really sure even why they asked that question. She just automatically like updated. Ooh, and Melina has something to say to me. Spoken echoes linger here. Words of if you will. Yeah, sure. Very well. <laughs> My lord, with thine eye, ye will wage well. Okay. Whatever. I'm just going to have only have one to put in there, so that's the one I'm putting in there. And let's go ahead and it is readied. Pretty good. Let's get back to the helmet, by the way. I still need a shirt and some pants. Oh, look. I can put that there. <laughs> All right. Let's fire. Now, I do want to go here, ultimately. And I want to go... here to get the spell. check make sure I'm thinking uh, is this what I want to do yes all right so oh I know what it was I want to go back to Kaled and pick up flame of the red mains it's one of the best ashes of war it really is super good by the way right over there where that tree is in the distance if you can climb up those rocks you can get a really cool sword called the regalia of the Aoshad or something of that nature <clears throat> Pretty good short sword. Well, it's called a straight sword, I guess. We're going to go through the teleporter. It's going to take us to a place that is way too high level for us at this point. We couldn't kill a flea there. Um, it just would be murder. So we're just going to do some business and we're going to bail out. So, first of all, don't mess with that guy. He's a giant gargoyle and he will kill you. All right. If you can kill him at this level, you are a way better player than I am. Bestial Sanctum. Always hit the grace. We talk to the dude. He's going to give me a spell. And some other stuff. Clawmort seal. All right. So if you're going to use the beast uh, spells, use the claw mark because it makes them better. So I am currently using finger seal, which does nothing or doesn't do anything special. So we're going to switch to this one. Technically, this has a little bit better rating. Strength and faith for this one, strength and faith for that one, but anyways, this one does boost the bestial incantations, which is pretty cool. Let's go back and take a look at our spells. We're going to want to get some more spell slots too. Let's see here, memorize spell. I don't use the heal much, so, oh, he didn't give me a spell yet, rats. He's going to give me a spell next time I bring him one. Not a big deal. All right. So we're going to go here, travel down to here, and get that Flame of the Red Mane. Guys, Flame of the Red Mane is super good. 
I'm not sure if it goes on a spear. I know it goes on almost every other weapon, including claws, which I've used many times. Um, not too difficult, really, to get. Hmm, I just remembered something. Let's see how many these I can make. 13? It'll be close. Okay, stay focused, Curtis. Stay on the mission. So we're going to get Flame of the Red Mains, which, by the way, I have marked on the screen, but there's not an easy way to get there without running into a bunch of freaking murderous, ginormous crows and dogs that, I don't know, they look like a Tyrannosaurus Rex to me. So we're going to jump down here. See that big bird? There's another big bird right there. They are awful. By the way, inside there, inside that ruin, there is, I don't know if you can see it, but right on the top of my hat, that is a sword stone key box, or a imp. You can stick a sword stone key in there, and you can get the sword of Trina, which is a wizard sword. It gets better with intelligence, so I can't use it on faith-based, so I'm going to leave it for the time being at least. All right. We're not going to screw with those guys. We're going to let them do what they do. Which in this case is fight that giant dog. This is what we want. See those footprints? That's what we want. That's what we're going to get. I'm going to come over here and hit the grace. I don't know if you saw those footprints again. But it is an invisible uh, scared people. We're going to want to present ourselves in a way where we can figure figure out that his path, figure out those tracks. Thinking it's about right here. We want to get in line with him, and then we're going to thrust. Hopefully, we can get him. They aren't see him. See him, see him, see him, see him right there. I'm almost perfectly in. All right, I am perfectly in line now. Waiting to come back by. I can't walk on to him, so I have to make this. Uh, huh, I have to make this thrust work. The timing is essential. If I miss it, it's not the end of the world. I will try, try again, and sooner or later I will get him. Hear that tinkling sound? Tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. That's him. There's quite a number of these invisible creatures. They're all super cool to have uh, or to find. They usually have something. Here we go. Ready? Now. <laughs> and there is the flame of the red mains. Let's see if it'll go on the spear. If it will, it will pretty much double my damage. Pretty close. Ashes of War. Alright, I'm currently doing 124 damage. This will give me 193 plus 193 is 186 damage. That's pretty good. I'm definitely going to do that. It, let's see. It also gives me a really cool L2 ability. So I can point out there and throw that little fire wave out and it does pretty good damage. Two-handed, it's also pretty cool. Alright. Let's take a look and see where we are. Is there anything else I really want to do here while I'm here, while I'm here? Um, Let's go back for a quick second and pick up just a couple of more. I need a couple more of these uh, smoldering butterflies. And we're going to go kill our tree avatar just for the experience. It'll be an easy kill. I know where he is. I know how to get to him. And I won't really even have to fight him, so to speak. We're just going to ride through town. 
Ride my horse. These. Come through. Get these. Keep on riding. And we're gonna hit the grace and do it again. Same There's those butterflies got two. These got two. I'm gonna drop down and reset. So again, I'm kind of farming these butterflies so that I can use my um, item crafting here. And it says I have I need more mushrooms. I got 14 butterflies. I need more mushrooms. Good to know. All right. I'm trying to think. Where are the mushrooms? I'm suddenly drawing a blank. Let's get these other butterflies real quick. Thinking they grow around the rocks. The mushrooms do. Here or not. I was thinking there's at least one somewhere around here. That is not it. Of course, all these turds are just itching to kill me. Yeah, let's do the thing with the red mains on them. I can gather them all up, it'll be pretty cool. Ooh. And they did not work nearly as good as I was thinking. I was thinking that was going to be cooler. The old smack old army. I am obviously not locked on him. Jump attack. Jump attack. Anyways, that was supposed to be fun and it sucked. Dang it. Okay. Not in the world. Right, let me think. Where are there some mushrooms? I just need a couple. I think that there's some over here where a sorceress Selen is. Just in case I get attacked, I don't want to just die. I don't have a whole lot of health as it is. All these rocks, and I was thinking there was going to be something, maybe. I did mean to get this earlier. Smithing stone. Does it pass this guy? Alright, where's our mushroom? Maybe there's one right here. Ah! There's a mushroom right there. Definitely goes. Trying to remember where all these different plants are and where all the bad guys are and where all of everything is is always just difficult for my my brain is too many different things to think about. Alright, mushroom, mushroom, mushroom. Where are the mushrooms? See, oh there's one. Few more. I 
There also happens to be a little catacombs over here. We could run that real quick, but... came to do mushrooms. I was thinking that there were some over by the rocks. This is where it must have been. Okay. Ooh, and another one. I missed it. I did not miss it. I couldn't pick it up. Alright. I should have enough. We're going to go up here. We're going to drop some fire bombs on old boy's head. It'll be pretty cool. Pretty easy. Get us a little bit of experience and get us a couple more things for our Potion of Wondrous Physics. So we're building the character, by the way, in a certain way uh, that, for me, doesn't require a whole bunch of death. So when I first played this game, I didn't leave anything behind. I killed all the lambs and all the sheep. I killed, you know, uh, the deer. I just, whatever I had to kill, I killed, got the bones, and I did all the crafting. And I still love doing that. But for this character... We're going to do something slightly different. I'm going to come over here, right by that statue. Here's where we are in Kaled. There's the Erd tree, and this is Kaled. And again, we start over here at the Church of Ella, and down here at the first step. So, trying not to mess around and fall off, which is the easiest way to die in the game. Falling damage is not fun. We're going to get on to that. Oh, crap, I forgot. I have to get his attention some way. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know if this will work. I usually have a bow and arrow. Maybe I can irritate him with these. I might be able to just throw them and hit them from here. I don't usually throw, throw them from this angle. Alright. I'm willing to waste one. Alright, I wasted two and I still didn't get him. Try a dart. Dang it. I can't throw him quite far enough. Normally I shoot a little, uh, I shoot an arrow at him. But, oh my gosh, I just about fell. My heart just fell out of my chest. I gotta be honest. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's try Flame Sling. I might be able to get him with a fireball. Didn't work. Dang it. Got him. Okay. So I'm doing crap ton of damage, by the way. He'll get sick of me uh, sitting here doing nothing. After he throws a few things at me. I like the item crafting. While he's doing what he does. And I will lock back on him when he comes out from behind the, the crowd here. Come on, come on, come on. He's, yeah, I want him to be. Put there. Pretty cool. Gonna do what he does. Finish making some more potions. Tell you guys, this is an easy, legit way. One, you're gonna get some experience, but to kill a tough, a, a tough boss early on in the game. But you must be locked on, and you must not fall. If you fall, you suck. And I've fallen before, which means I also suck. <laughs> All right, he's gonna move back into range here for me to see him. Bombs away! Bombs away! Mm 
He shot a little bit earlier this time. It's somewhat unprecedented. And he shoot again. He must be really mad. I would be mad if somebody dropped the bombs on my head as well. Now you guys see why I went back and got those smoldering butterflies and the extra mushrooms, right? So I could make these pots. You're going to freak out when you see the cool amount of experience I get. Like, dude, Curtis, that's a lot of stinking experience for your guy. Yep, that's why I'm doing it. <clears throat> and it's, again, it's legit. Make sure you're locked on. You waste potions if you're not locked on. Four potions, I think I can do it. I also don't want to do it without falling. Falling makes this work a whole lot less. <laughs> it's this big suck sucko. Two potions. Nope. I think one did it. Watch my experience on the far right, lower right. How much did I get? 9,600. Pretty stinking good for, you know, a little level guy. 9,000 experience. That's going to be helpful. Let's go ahead and... I'm just going to go... Uh, let's just go back to uh, Church of Bella. Kind of reconsider our life for a moment. So guys, we got the Erd Tree out of the way, and we've got our Fire Spell because we got it from the Round Table Hold. Pretty important. Time to level up our guy a little bit. Let's take a look. Level up. All right. Still need Endurance like a lot. And put all three of those in there. That'll make me just better all the way around. Let's look at our wondrous physic. Now I can have both health and stamina or my fire attacks, which is pretty good from throwing fire bombs, right? All right, just need something in there. All right, well, that's another lesson down for Enigma, the prophet with the spear. And by the way, I'm going to go do some other things. Maybe I can, I don't think I've got, I might have enough, uh, Stones to make this spear a little better. Nope, I don't. But I do have a couple I can make this better. Maybe my fire damage will be better. Alright. That's all I got for you guys right now. I will catch up with you later. In the meantime, like and share on your social media channel. That helps me out a lot. Also, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, I'm just curious. What are you waiting for? How many people do you subscribe to? And if you are subscribed to people, you're not really getting spammed anything. It's just the content that you normally like to see. If you made it all the way to the end and you've enjoyed my content, you like the casual gameplay, but also how to get things done, even for a guy as weak as uh, a brand new prophet, uh, go ahead and leave me a comment. That would be super good. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the notification bell. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.